Uh, you're finally awake. How do you feel? Don't worry. You're, you're in a safe place. You're in my clinic. Well, clinic, temple, hospital, whatever you want to call it. Someone took you in, said they found you on the street. You were in a pretty bad shape. You were covered in bruises and bollocks of it. You haven't slept or eaten in days. So I took you in, gave you a sleeping herb. Sleeping herb. Oh no, actually it wasn't anything herbal, it was just a... Some raspberry supplement along with a bit of medicine. And I actually don't know who put you in here. They actually uh, never gave me a name. Now I'm just going to check a few, few things, okay? Just going to check there's nothing I've missed that we have to deal with here. So lift up your shirt for me. Alright, let me feel your heart. So... When did you last eat? Okay, um, what about fluids, drink? Oh. Okay, that's good. I'll bring up something today, so for you to eat. What? <laughs> no, no, silly, I, I can't let you go yet. I need to properly examine you. Okay. Heart rate seems okay. Let me check your wounds. Now, how did you get these? No. No, don't lie. I know these aren't an animal's doing unless you were wrestling a bear one-handed. Okay, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Oh, yeah, these are going to need uh, more alcohol. Right, hold, uh, hold still. I'm sorry, this is going to sting, but it'll be quick, okay? Ready? Yo! I know, I know, I know, I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I have to sterilise it, otherwise you'll just get infected. Hey, you're quite young to be on the streets. On your own, aren't you? Hmm? Where are your parents? But they must be worried sick. Oh, you're an adventurer. Yeah, no offence, I don't believe that for one single second. Why? Well, where to start? Firstly, you have no weapons, no form of protection, no anything to defend yourself with. Which is kind of vital for, you know, scaring off beasts, thieves and even a royal taxman. <laughs> Not to mention your clothing. You have no bag, no satchel, no way to carry anything you own. And you have less than sufficient coin to survive. You look more like a b partner who's been chucked out by their beloved than anything else. So no, I don't believe for one second you're in a venture. Like you've been telling everyone else. Your hair doesn't help that claim either. So mad and messy. Why are you head back for me? What? I might as well. No point leaving it a mess now, is it? No. Why don't you tell me what's wrong? Oh, <laughs> really? <sighs> yes, you may be fine physically, but I meant something else. So many people are always focusing on how their body is. Why it's ill. Always need to know what's wrong physically. They never never or rarely ask what's wrong internally. I mean, how do you feel? In your mind, your thoughts, your emotions. What's wrong? What's plaguing your mind? Something is troubling you. I can tell. You can tell me. <laughs> Judge you? Oh. That I can assure you I wouldn't do. Well, I'm not just some village healer. I'm also a scientist, even though my father swears against it. As does the town folk, because, well, you know. But unaware to them, I've been healing them with science, purely. Right under their noses. 
However, I'm also something else. Well, as many names, but I doubt you would recognise any of them. Okay, if you insist. I'm a trained adept of the Great Arcanum. I can control and manifest the Yod, the Ob, the Or, and the Azoth at will. Ah. <laughs> I thought you might recognise the last one. Then you realise what I am. Good. <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure as you already know, because who I am, I've seen things beyond, practice things beyond your wildest imagination. So, why don't you tell me what's wrong? Hmm? What you really, really want. Go on, tell me. There we go. Isn't that so much better to scream it out instead of actually screaming it inside your head? Oh yes, I knew. I just needed to hear, hear you say it. To admit it to yourself. To accept it yourself. Hmm? What you need to realise that you are a girl. A girl trapped in the wrong body. That's all. It's been haunting you throughout your life, hasn't it? Tormenting you. Bringing you down. Fear not. I can help you. I can help you become the girl, the beautiful woman you are on the outside as well as the inside. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not just going to trick your mind to think you are. You are. Or to make you think that you have the right body. No, no, no. I'm going to transform you. Transmutate every nook and cranny. Why? Because it's my job to heal. My job to help. I can tell that you obviously told this to someone and they didn't take it right. That's why you're in the streets. You need help. And I can do that. I can make you look however you want. Give you a new life. And you can go make your own new life for yourself, can't you? Hmm? It's my job. I'm here to heal people. Of every kin. So. And why would it be wrong to do so? Why would it be wrong to want to be... Where you want to be. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's where you're wrong. It's not bad about wanting to be yourself at all. Now, hold still. I'm just going to take a tiny drop of your blood. I only need one drop. You're fine. This blade is clean. You are fine. I am here to heal people. I will know what I'm doing. Okay? There we go. Now, let's begin, shall we? Hmm? Now, step into that circle over there. Because before we begin, I have to say something to make sure it's safe. You'll feel a slight blast of wind try to push you out, but fight it and try and stay. So just get ready. Don't let it push you out. You ready? There we are. Now, we're alone. Oh, those words were spoken in a different tone, obviously, but loosely translated, they mean far, far be the profane. It's a way of ridding any area of any uninitiated or unindoctrinated people. Well, set yourself, of course, as this, you know, you were in a circle. It was used by the ancients in the Eleusian mysteries. Speaking of the ancient, let's let her out, shall we? The real you, the girl inside that's been trapped here in this body all your life. Don't worry, they'll be free soon. Now lie down on the ground for me. 
Now firstly, let's rid you of all that manly hair on your body, shall we? Oh no, I'm not going to shave it. I'm going to make it gone forever. How? Well, a certain energy. Simply by placing my hands around an area. So, for example, give me your foot. Now, do you feel that slight tingling sensation? Feel it all falling off like leaves falling off a tree? Now, now I'm just going to put a tiny, tiny drop of this, let's say a form of ailment on you. And you should start to feel your skin get, oh, so soft. Just like a girl. And this soft feeling travelling all the way up your spine. To the back of your neck. Your cheeks. Your entire face. Before moving down your shoulders. Travelling down your arms. To the tip of your fingertips. Down your upper chest. All the way down your thighs. Before it finally reaches the tip of your toes. Now, let's fix that hair jewel, shall we? Let me just brush my fingers over it, over your scalp. Now, do you feel that a slight ripple effect on the top of your head? Your hair starting to grow longer and longer, tickling your neck. Mm, it's becoming so much more girly. Mm. It's becoming so feminine as it should have been. Unfortunately, styling and cutting the hair is not my speciality. So how it grows and what colour it will grow, I'm not sure. But you can dye it and cut it whatever you want and style it how you want afterwards. I mean, I would try, but unless you want to look like it was cut with a dagger. No, I didn't think so. Now, you're going to feel a slight movement in your throat. It won't hurt. I promise. Just got to put my hands around your... Not around your neck. They're, they're near it. They're not going on it. I'm just going to just raise something just ever so slightly. Might feel like a ice cube travelling up your throat. And... There. Now speak. There we go. Much more feminine tone, isn't it? Now, those eyelashes need to be a little bit longer, don't they? So let me just, I'm going to pinch them, just going to put it near them. Hmm, should I make them a little bit jet black? So you doubt it, you know, constantly use makeup. Is that up to you? Yeah, yeah, sure. Let me just... Just curve them a bit for you while I'm here. There. Now, that body of yours needs some more modifications, doesn't it? You've got the soft skin. You've got the eyelashes. You've got no body hair. And you've even got the hair. Let me just make some more alterations. Well, the body you have is very muscular. I don't know if you want to keep them. Make you a little bit more feminine, slim. Yeah? Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place... Actually, I should probably... Yeah, I'm just going to draw one thing on your stomach. Is that okay? Okay. It's just a lot... It'll do the process a lot more quicker. Otherwise, we'd be here for quite a while if I'd done it. Just going to draw a certain... Let's say glyph. And you're just going to feel a slight, sort of like water, in your muscles. This is going to start growing from your chest and start to work its way through your body. As the muscles just slowly decrease a bit. And your skin just becomes more, your build of your arms becomes more feminine, more smooth. Your chest starts to go in a bit, giving you... A nice 
nice curvy pear shaped way. You'll feel an obvious change downstairs, you know, um, mild pain. Be gone in seconds though. And there we go. There's only one thing I need to alter now. And that's. Well, that's two things. Just need to alter your face a little bit. Just make it look a, little, a lot more feminine. Nice and girly. Okay? And we've got one final touch. Oh, yeah. So just lie down. Just got to. Get a little bit of static friction and just gonna have to actually to touch your cheeks. And you're just gonna feel your cheekbones just slowly de envelop, you know. And just start to your face starting to form into a much more feminine one. Now the final thing is clothes. I mean, if I was going to let you leave this, no. You can't wear this close anymore. Because <laughs> you're not a guy. You're a beautiful, gorgeous girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got some clothes over there. You're welcome to take whatever you want. There's absolutely everything from everything in there. I kind of have a problem. Please take them off me. Have a hoarding addiction. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> you don't have to thank me. Go on. Go and enjoy your life. As you should have. In the body that you should have been born in.